Yes. My name's Sam Kramer. I'm the Pathwest Training Coordinator. Um, I started out as a medical scientist in the microbiology lab, much like this one. So part of my role involves coordinating the Curtin Laboratory Medicine students um, throughout their practical placements at the different uh, Pathwest sites. Aaron Lee, he's a student from Curtin completing the Bachelor of Science Laboratory Medicine degree and he's now completing seven weeks in the microbiology lab. There's a lot of different sections within medical science. The students complete seven weeks in each of their different majors, which could be in microbiology, haematology, biochemistry, uh, histopathology, uh, cytology, immunology. And then even within those um, disciplines, we have a lot of smaller subsections and molecular and genomics. And there's a broad range of different areas that you could specialise in as a medical scientist. So if there's anything complex that we need to investigate, we can do a manual procedure or a manual technique. And this basically involves um, just your serology. We've got these cards which are designed um, for basically doing your forward and reverse group. My name is Noelle Chow and I work for Pathwest at Royal Perth Hospital. I started off with a Bachelor of Science in Medical Science at Curtin University and then I did an extra year of postgraduate honours. I then came out and worked as a casual um, uh, scientist at Fremantle Hospital in the histopathology department and then eventually I started my work in blood bank um, or transfusion medicine and I work in special immunohematology. So this is now ready for incubation, we're going to put it in the incubator. This incubation period um, is for 15 minutes, it heats it up to 37 degrees and that's your normal um, body temperature. So after that what happens is we spin it down and then basically the reagents will tell us whether or not the patient's got an antibody. What you learn in university is your theories and then we obviously learn technical skills as well but when you come to the job you're applying your theory and knowledge to your everyday um, work processes and um, workflows. Say, for example, malaria, you learn about how obviously malaria is transmitted um, and then in the lab training um, you get to look at a various number of films and help diagnose that. But when you come out into the workplace you're actually applying your knowledge and your theory in real life. So when a patient um, comes in through ED and is quite unwell and they do a blood film they suspect malaria, it is then up to you to look through the film and look down the microscope and see if you can detect any parasites. A lot of our methods that we use now, our analyzers, is being shrunk down to smaller levels, especially with the use of molecular technology. Um, you know, you can scan someone's blood and detect genes which may encode for certain, you know, diseases or malignancies. It certainly makes our lives easier in terms of um, performing the tests and making a more efficient service, and that's what you want for patients. What we're doing is an ABO um, blood group, so effectively what we're doing is trying to find out whether what blood group they are, whether they're APOS, OPOS, um, ANEG, BNEG. So we do a forward group, so that detects uh, what antigens are on the red cells, and we also do a reverse cell as well to make sure that uh, um, forward and reverse group match up. It's very vital that we um, always identify the patient correctly and get the blood group correct. Now they're probably going to be positive, so you're better off running everything at the same time. I supervise the students when they come through. Um, I develop the program in terms of making sure that they get, a, again, a broad range um, rotation through all the different um, areas of haematology. We generally supervise them for their duration of their um, placement so that they can do things which obviously allow them to develop their skills and apply the knowledge and theory that they've learnt at university. The future looks really great in terms of medical science. There's lots of new up-and-coming projects and research ideas coming through, so I'd really like to expand um, my knowledge and um, input into the area of um, haematology malignancy. So in terms of helping um, transplant patients, bone marrow transplant and stem cell transplant patients um, effectively achieve um, a good recovery in terms of after their therapy and after their treatment. Um, Research has come a lot of way, there's lots of new molecular techniques and I'm hoping to apply or maybe develop new molecular techniques to help us make um, a more efficient and you know, precise measurement of um, disease and diagnosing um, clinical patients.
authorised by the Government of Western Australia, Perth, spoken by S. Kramer and N. Chow.